Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Vine Space Channel. Today I continue to read from the book of Psalm. I'm in Psalm chapter 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses, and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous, Good will come to those who are generous and led freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be taken, be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting to the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. That's the conclusion of Psalm 112. I would like to highlight this verse. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. <clears throat> what do you think of politicians that use fear driven rhetoric and say they're Christians. Christians have no fear. They have security in God no matter what happens. So do you think a politician that uses fear especially to Christian people and that says they're Christian have any spirituality about them, have any relationship with God, because everyone who has, who prays and reads the Bible, knows that they have no fear. They have security in God. They have faith. They trust in God. So do you think that politician that says that he or she is a Christian that then participates in fear-mongering to get votes is really Christian. I don't think they are. I don't think they even understand what it is to be Christian. Now, I'm not to judge whether they're really Christian or not or whether they're going to heaven or hell. But what they are doing is contradictory to the Scripture. I can say that for a fact. It's up to God to sort them out. But the Bible says what the Bible says. Uh, you all have a wonderful and blessed day.